Ever feel like your garden needs a little boost, especially during those colder months? Micro greenhouses might be the game changer you need. Imagine extending your growing season, protecting your plants from harsh weather, and creating a mini oasis of greenery right in your backyard or on your balcony. In today's video, we're diving into the world of micro greenhouses, uncovering what they are, why they might be essential for your gardening success, and how you can easily build one yourself. Whether you're a seasoned gardener or just starting out, a micro greenhouse can revolutionize the way you grow plants. Stick around to find out how to take your gardening to the next level with this compact yet powerful tool. A micro greenhouse is a compact, efficient structure designed to create a controlled environment for growing plants. Unlike traditional greenhouses, which are often large and require significant space and resources, micro greenhouses are small enough to fit on balconies, patios, or even indoor spaces. These miniaturized greenhouses are perfect for gardeners with limited space or those looking to extend their growing season without the commitment of a full-sized greenhouse. They provide the same benefits as larger greenhouses, such as protection from harsh weather, pests, and temperature fluctuations, but in a much more manageable size. There are several types of micro greenhouses, each catering to different needs and preferences. One popular type is the DIY soda bottle. Greenhouse, which is an excellent project for those who enjoy upcycling. This involves cutting the bottom off a large plastic soda bottle and placing it over individual plants or seedlings to create a mini greenhouse effect. The clear plastic allows sunlight to penetrate while retaining moisture and warmth, creating an ideal environment for young plants to thrive. Another type is the mini cold frame, a more robust option typically made from wood and glass or clear plastic. These cold frames can be placed directly on the ground and are perfect for protecting plants during the colder months. The hinged top allows for easy access and ventilation, and the sturdy construction provides excellent insulation against the cold. Covered shelving units are another popular choice, especially for those looking to maximize vertical space. These units consist of several shelves enclosed by a clear plastic cover. They are perfect for starting seeds or growing small plants and herbs. The shelving units can be placed indoors or outdoors and often come with zippers or Velcro for easy access. Each type of micro greenhouse serves a specific purpose, making it easier for gardeners to find a solution that fits their space and needs by understanding the different types available and their unique benefits. Gardeners can choose the best micro greenhouse to enhance their gardening experience and ensure their plants thrive all year round. A micro greenhouse offers numerous benefits that make it an excellent addition to any garden, particularly for those with limited space. One of the primary advantages is the ability to extend the growing season. Micro greenhouses create a protective barrier that shields plants from frost, allowing gardeners to start planting earlier in the spring and continue growing well into the fall. By maintaining a stable, warmer environment, these structures enable plants to thrive despite fluctuating outdoor temperatures. This extended growing season means you can enjoy fresh vegetables, herbs, and flowers for a longer period each year. In addition to extending the growing season, micro greenhouses are highly effective at controlling pests and diseases. The enclosed environment acts as a physical barrier, keeping many common garden pests like aphids, slugs, and caterpillars at bay. This reduces the need for chemical pesticides, promoting a more organic gardening approach. Moreover, the controlled environment helps prevent the spread of diseases that can devastate plants in an open garden. By regulating humidity and airflow, micro greenhouses create conditions that are less conducive to the development of fungal infections and other plant diseases. Space efficiency is another significant benefit of micro greenhouses, making them ideal for small gardens, patios, and balconies. Their compact size allows urban gardeners or those with limited outdoor space to grow a variety of plants without the need for a large backyard. Vertical growing systems, such as covered shelving units, maximize the use of available space by allowing multiple layers of plants to be cultivated in a small footprint. This is particularly beneficial for apartment dwellers or anyone looking to make the most of their outdoor area. Furthermore, micro greenhouses can be used to create a microclimate suitable for growing plants that might not otherwise thrive in your local climate. This adaptability opens up a world of possibilities for gardeners to experiment with pre, exotic, or out-of-season plants, enriching their gardening experience and diversifying their plant collection. 
Whether you're looking to grow tropical plants in a temperate region or simply want to protect delicate seedlings, a micro greenhouse provides the perfect solution. Determining whether you need a micro greenhouse involves assessing various factors such as climate, garden size, and the types of plants you wish to grow. If you live in a region with harsh winters, frequent frosts, or a short growing season, a micro greenhouse can be a game changer. It provides the necessary warmth and protection to extend your gardening period, allowing you to start seeds early in the spring and continue harvesting well into the fall. Gardeners in temperate climates can benefit as well, as a micro greenhouse helps maintain optimal growing conditions during unexpected cold snaps or unseasonably cool weather. The size of your garden is another crucial factor. For those with limited outdoor space, such as urban gardeners or apartment dwellers with only a balcony or patio, a micro greenhouse offers a compact and efficient solution. These structures make it possible to grow a variety of plants in a small area by utilizing vertical space and creating a controlled environment. If your gardening area is confined, a micro greenhouse can maximize your available space, enabling you to grow more plants than would be possible in an open garden. The types of plants you wish to cultivate also play a significant role in deciding whether a micro greenhouse is necessary. Delicate plants, tropical species, or those that require consistent warmth and humidity will thrive in the protected environment of a micro greenhouse. Seedlings and young plants, which are particularly vulnerable to cold and pests, can be started in a micro greenhouse and then transplanted outdoors when they are stronger and the weather is more favorable. Additionally, if you want to experiment with growing exotic or out of season plants, a micro greenhouse can provide the controlled conditions these plants need to flourish. Specific groups of gardeners will find a micro greenhouse particularly beneficial. Those living in colder climates will appreciate the extended growing season and frost protection. Urban gardeners with limited space will benefit from the space efficiency and ability to create a productive garden in small areas. Gardeners interested in organic methods will find the controlled environment ideal for reducing the need for pesticides and managing diseases naturally. Building a micro greenhouse can be a rewarding project, and it's an excellent way to extend your growing season and protect your plants. One of the simplest methods is creating a DIY soda bottle greenhouse. Start by thoroughly cleaning a 2 liter soda bottle and removing the label. Cut the bottle horizontally around the middle, creating two pieces. The bottom part will serve as the base, while the top part, including the cap, acts as the cover. Fill the bottom section with soil and plant your seeds or seedlings. Once planted, place the top part back on, creating a mini greenhouse. Make sure the cap is off to allow for air circulation. This mini greenhouse helps retain moisture and warmth, providing a perfect environment for young plants to thrive. Another approach is using polycarbonate sheets to construct a small greenhouse. This method requires a bit more effort and materials, but offers a more permanent solution. Start by determining the size and shape of your greenhouse. Cut the polycarbonate sheets to your desired dimensions, ensuring you have pieces for the sides, roof, and door. Construct a simple frame using wood or metal, then attach the polycarbonate sheets to the frame using screws or clips. Ensure the structure is sturdy and well sealed to maintain a controlled environment inside. Polycarbonate is a great material as it provides excellent insulation and is durable against weather elements. Upcycling materials is also a creative and eco-friendly way to build a micro greenhouse. Old windows can be repurposed to create the walls and roof of a greenhouse. Simply construct a frame that fits the dimensions of the windows, then attach them securely. The glass allows plenty of light to penetrate while providing insulation. Plastic containers can also be used similarly to the soda bottle method. Cut larger plastic containers to create covers for individual plants or seedlings, providing a similar greenhouse effect. Maintaining your micro greenhouse involves several key practices to ensure your plants thrive. First, regulating the temperature inside the greenhouse is crucial to avoid overheating. During the warmer months, temperatures inside can soar, potentially harming your plants. To mitigate this, ensure your greenhouse has adequate ventilation, such as adjustable vents or windows that can be opened to allow excess heat to escape. Additionally, placing a thermometer inside the greenhouse can help you monitor the temperature and make adjustments as needed. Proper watering and ventilation are also essential for maintaining a healthy micro greenhouse environment. Overwatering can lead to root rot, while underwatering can stress your plants. It's best to water plants early in the day, 
allowing excess moisture to evaporate and reducing the risk of fungal diseases. Ensure the greenhouse has good airflow to prevent mold and mildew growth. You can achieve this by placing a small fan inside the greenhouse or regularly opening vents and doors to promote air circulation. Regular monitoring is vital for identifying and addressing pest and disease issues promptly. Check your plants frequently for signs of pests such as aphids, spider mites, or white flies, and look for any symptoms of disease like yellowing leaves or mold growth. Implementing integrated pest management practices, such as introducing beneficial insects or using organic pest control methods, can help keep your plants healthy. By staying vigilant and addressing problems early, you can maintain a thriving micro greenhouse and enjoy a bountiful harvest. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Gardenbound for more gardening tips and tricks. Until next time, happy gardening.